Hi, welcome to Pyrography Made Easy. I'm Brenda. In this episode, we are going to take a closer look at the fur on the cougar artwork. There are two areas that we will examine. The soft, slightly out of focus fur on the shoulder and the longer fur on the throat. Well, let's get started. Zigzags, razor edge versus flat. Using the razor edge of the shader produces a zigzag with very thin, crisp lines. Using the flat of the shader produces a zigzag with much thicker and softer lines. Soft, out of focus fur. Begin by burning a layer of zigzags over the area. Angle the pen tip so you are using a bit more than the razor edge, but less than the flat of the shader. This will produce lines that are a touch thicker than what the razor edge would produce, but they are also thinner than what the flat of the shader does. The resulting burn marks will have some individual hairs, but the hairs will not be as crisp or sharply defined like those on the bridge of the nose. I do recommend trying out different pen tips, as some might be easier than others to hold at the needed angle. Other than the angle we're holding the pen tip at, the fur is burned following the same guidelines that I've presented for all of the fur that I create. So you burn the zigzags in the fur growth direction, you vary the starting point of each zigzag, vary how long or wide the zigzag lines are, and vary the gap between each line on the zigzag. Apply several layers of zigzags to get tonal depth and more realistic fur. Each layer of zigzags is applied just like the first layer, following the same guidelines. If you need more information about using zigzags, I have a tutorial video that goes into greater detail about using zigzags to create fur texture. I will put a link to that video in the description below. Throat Fur The throat fur is about double the length of the short fur found on the body and face. I am burning some zigzags and lots of individual lines that are a bit longer. Plus, I'm burning a couple of much longer and rather thick lines. Maybe they should be called bands instead of lines. This is forming the foundation for the fur, especially the longer and slightly darker lines. The dark lines frame or border each grouping of long hairs. To put it another way, the dark lines are the shadows. Make sure to create some long hair groupings when working along the edge. This is where the longer throat fur ends and the shorter body fur begins. Since the throat is light in color, I have to make sure that the body fur is a number of shades darker than the throat. The contrast will keep the throat looking pale in color. Once the fur is blocked in, then it is a matter of reburning to build up the darkness level of the shadows. Just make sure that they remain much lighter in color than the nearby body fur. You may have noticed that I changed pen tips a couple of times. There was no reason for that. The first pen tip would have worked just fine for everything. I had been using the other pen tips on the out of focus fur and I was just too lazy to switch back to the original shader. Well, that's it for this episode. I hope you found the information helpful. Well, thank you for watching, and I will see you next week.